Good day, everybody, and what's up? Welcome to She Comes First. My name is Dr. Nick Meyer, sitting here on January 3rd, 2021. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. We made it through 2020. Let's do this. It's New Year. Let's be positive. Let's kick some ass and move, and move forward, period. And, of course, yes, I've been away for a minute. I've been away for several minutes, but of course, I have some stories to tell you guys, and I will tell them throughout the course of this year. And when it comes to this podcast, I made one major resolution, and that was to try to be more consistent and concise as I do these podcasts because I was away for so long. And with this podcast right here, I just want to keep it short. I'm not going to keep you guys all day. I'm just kind of testing my equipment and everything like that. And so far, everything seems seems to be in the green. So that's all thumbs up. And of course, I figured I would start out this new year with a topic about COVID-19. It hit the news about two weeks ago, but it is still very important. So fellas, you may want to pay attention to this. And there have been several articles that came out recently talking about how COVID-19 can cause erectile dysfunction. So, yes, you may want to pay attention to this. So let's talk about that today. The information that I am presenting today comes from the Cleveland Clinic's website, clevelandclinic.org, and they have a nice article sitting there about how COVID-19 can cause erectile dysfunction. And I'm going to break it down into three separate sections. The first part is called vascular, because what they know now is that COVID-19 can cause hyperinflammation of certain body organs, especially the heart and and, and certain muscles. So just imagine if if your heart is pumping blood, but your veins and artery, your veins that lead to your penis become inflamed, they may become clogged and or narrowed. So therefore, the blood that is being pumped into your penis when, you're, when you are aroused to get an erection cannot get there. It's just clogged up. So you may have a more difficult time in getting an erection than you did previously before you got infected with COVID-19. So I said all that to say this. Please keep in mind that COVID-19 is a fairly new virus on the scene, and they really don't know what the long-term side effects are going to be. So right now, this second, you may not have any problems with getting an erection or anything like that. But later on, something may appear. So I'm asking you to just be to be on your P's and Q's just a little bit and monitor the, the overall quality of your erections. And if you start to know something different, please head to the doctor so you can get that checked out. Number two is psychological. So check this out. Imagine if you are suffering with COVID-19 right now and your anxiety level is through the roof, your stress level is through the roof, and you're possibly even depressed right now. And if you take each one of those elements separately, each one of those alone can cause erectile dysfunction or or affect your sexual health in some negative way. Now, take all those three things and put them into one person and then add to the fact that the virus can be affecting their ability to get a quality erection. That's a lot for one person to try to process mentally. And it's it's easy to understand while some people's mental health and their sexual mental health seems seems to decline when dealing with and even coming out of a COVID-19 infection. And number three, your overall health starts to decline. And what I mean by that is, let's say that COVID-19 really went after your liver or your lungs or your muscles and something like that. And once again, you're dealing with that issue or 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 those issues. So what happens? Your stress level goes up. Your, your anxiety level goes up. Your blood pressure could even change, go higher or lower, which could have a negative impact on your sexual health. 
and fortunately, those health issues could start to snowball in, into other things to the point where, like, you're not even thinking about sex anymore. Your desire has tanked. You're not even having sexual thoughts at the moment. You're just trying to deal with the after effects of COVID-19. And especially if you were a fairly healthy person before doing what you wanted to do, having a good time doing this and that, and then COVID hits you, and then you have all these new health issues that just appear almost overnight, how is that going to affect you? How is that going to affect you mentally? How is that going to affect your sexual health? So as I said a second ago, all of these things could potentially snowball and really have a negative impact on your sexual health. So in closing, as I said when I first started, I'm not going to make this podcast that long, but I do want to say this. Please protect yourself out there. And also, I'm hearing like rumblings out there that they're doing research on COVID-19 and testicular damage. Now, keep that in mind. So, ladies, partners, fellas, we're all in this together. Get your man on the same page. Put on the damn mask. Wash your hands. Use Listerine mouthwash or something. Gargle with it. It all helps. Because you know why? We're all in this together. And also, ladies and partners, think about it this way. His sexual health is going to have an impact on your sexual health as well. You see what I'm saying? So it's in your benefit as well to get this to get your man to wear a mask, period. You see what I'm saying? Real talk, we're all in this together. We really are. So on that note, I'm out. I know this is kind of like a, a very negative topic for my first topic back after like six months or whatever. But I'm just saying this, this, this stuff is real and people are dying out there. And I don't want your sex life to die because of a COVID-19 infection, which could be avoided. So on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Be safe out there. Stay tuned. And I'll talk to you soon.